What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. As you can see here, we have a little bit of a different video for you guys. If you guys follow the channel, you know we have been talking for a while about some of the bugs that we've been experiencing with our Model S. Uh, some have been fixed in bug releases, but it's kind of becoming questionable how some are being fixed, then issues are being found in the same regard as what was supposedly just fixed in a prior build isn't working anymore. So today I want to talk about some of the changes that we have with some of the issues we're still experiencing. Apple Music's still been an issue. We've actually had a random issue with the auto shift. Um, obviously that is in beta, but for some reason it keeps actually highlighting under the wireless charging pads. Well, it's highlighting the park, reverse, drive, all of those options, and it's not giving us the option to auto shift. Again, it's out of beta, no big deal. We can swipe on the screen, it works okay. But having said all that, that is still something of a concern. Now it's been a little bit improved from 0.2 to now 0.6, but in general it is still weird. Additionally, paint quality has always been an issue here, and even though it's not that big, as you can see right here, we actually got our first good little chip in the paint. This is why you should always use PPF if you can and why it's so encouraged. But you can see with about a little under two years of driving on it that the quality has improved but it is still not perfect now don't get me wrong any car is susceptible to road debris and all that so not a tesla specific problem but just one i want you guys to be aware of that does still exist next on the list are our automatic door handles so after only a year and a half these motors have kind of given us issues the actual flushness of the handle when it is actually locked would not become flush with the vehicle and was causing somewhat of an issue there as well so another build quality concern more than hardware or software, I should say. So just something to keep in mind. It's a known issue with the Model X's. So hopping in the car, let's take a look now and see if auto shift will want to work. Let's go ahead and put our seatbelt on as it says. And okay, it's going to work this time, no problem. But what I was referring to, if you guys are unaware, down here, as you can see, are not only the hazard lights that we just activated, but... Park, reverse, neutral, and drive are also down here as a means if the screen isn't working as hardware buttons. But yeah, it's working now, as you can see, shifted into drive, but prior, these will all highlight actually and light up, and I would have to use the swipe gesture. And just to show you guys, if you don't follow the channel, we are running, obviously, the latest build, as you can see here, 2023.6.8. Um, Obviously, that's the improvement from 2023.6.1 or .2 that was before it. So, having said that, we are still getting a ton of new features, which is awesome. It's one of the best benefits of having a Tesla. So, the feature sets are always improving over time, but also, the bugs have gotten substantial. Um, like I said, we're getting 10 things fixed and one new bug that's coming out, or new features and other bugs that remain. We've been talking about this Apple Music bug for a little while now, and almost more so concerning is that they didn't come out and actually admit to anything or say what was going on with this. But again, we talked about this in a prior video. If you jump into your theater and actually go to watch YouTube or anything like that, and you can see it's on our rear screen right now because we're not in park. Let me park really quick. If you go to YouTube, you are no longer getting this in actual full quality it has been limited to a horribly pixelated image at 360p when you go to settings you cannot actually edit this because it is in mobile mode um, that is a huge degradation from 1080p um, this remains the same in the back it's been like this for a couple months tesla hasn't said if this is cost saving measures measures from streaming over at&t's 4g lte but a lot of people, especially when charging, they promote these as entertainment vehicles, whether it's playing games or obviously watching YouTube videos. Um, this is something of a concern that it hasn't been fixed if it is a true bug. So just to call out on that as well, not again the end of the world, but I do want to just let you know this is still in existence and has been discussed for, for quite a while now. So what do you all think? Are you guys impressed with how far Tesla's come or are you more disappointed as far as all of these outstanding issues that still keep seemingly coming about? Let us know in the comments. I'm curious also, what other bugs are you experiencing that has not been fixed yet in any of Tesla's builds? It doesn't have to be specific to a Model X or S, a 3 or Y are more than acceptable too. 
Let us know in the comments down below. Let's crowdsource this information, put it together, and see where the improvements can be. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.